Are you a content creator looking for effects to bring your videos to a whole new level? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. What's going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys a couple tips that I've collected in order for you to improve your editing, to actually take your videos to a whole new level. If you guys are excited, make sure to smash the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. I would say let's get started as always right after the intro. We've come through a pivotal time for Vegas Pro, and three years ago, I promised that the future was bright. Passionate, loyal users stayed with us, encouraging us and providing priceless feedback and input every step of the way. With Vegas Pro 17, every new feature, and there are over 30 of them in this release, come directly from that feedback. Nested timelines provide the power to better organize complex and long-form projects. Color grading panels streamlines your workflow in a quick, efficient, logical process that's cohesive, comprehensive, and easy to use. Vegas Pro 17 continues to lead the way in HDR editing, now including HLG support, with a beginning to end workflow, including HDR preview and delivery, all within the latest ASUS 1.1 color space. For incredibly smooth, slow motion, Optical Flow technology analyzes one frame to the next and then creates intermediary frames between them. And with the GPU accelerated decoding for AVC and HEVC, timeline playback is even smoother and quicker. In short, user passion not only for creating their art, but also for the tools they use in that creation has brought the most extensive, powerful, and exciting upgrade that Vegas Pro has seen in a very long time. Each user has a unique creative style. Whatever your style, Vegas Pro works with you as a creative partner. Our passion for creating great software, fueled by your passion for making great video. We're happy to bring you Vegas Pro 17. My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 17 tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to install external plugins. So these are plugins that do not come with Vegas Pro standard. You have to get them externally, but in order to install them, you actually have to do quite a couple steps. I'm going to go, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that. So as you can see right now, we are in Vegas Pro 17. And basically, if you want to download plugins, there is basically something that you need, which is a preset manager, which is going to to allow you to install external plugins into Vegas Pro. Because let's say that you want to create next level color grading, you know, shots, for example, but Vegas Pro 17 doesn't have that, or they have it. It's really, really cool in this new version. But let's say that you want to take it a step further, or you just want to find different kinds of uh, color grading presets. We're going to go ahead and download the preset manager, which you can find in the description. So that's what we're going to do right now. Okay, so now that we uh, clicked on the link in the description, right here, we will land on this Mediafire website. And I I just uploaded that one for free. You don't need to pay for anything. So right here, you want to click on this green download button. Don't click on this blue one because that's an ad. Just click on the green download button and now it's going to start downloading. And right now it is already done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it up. Right here, it's in our folder. We're gonna right click and we're gonna extract it here. Then we're going to double click on the .exe file. It is in launcher. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna install everything. So we will see this box popping up right now. Okay. So so right here it says preset manager is already installed because I already have it on my computer. But what you want to do, it is really simple. Just click on next, install. Just you guys know how to install like these really small things. Just go continue, hit next, and then we can just go ahead and do it from there. All right, so now that we have the preset manager installed on our computer, this is basically what it will look like. So now what we need to do is we need to go on YouTube and look for like these awesome color grading presets, uh, which we're going to do right now as well. Okay, so right now we're going to type in Sony Vegas color grading preset 
pack, for example, or color correction preset pack. And then if my, my video is popping up first, that's really funny. All right, so let's click on this one, which is really, really cool. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the link in the description. And right here, they also say uh, first download Sony preset manager right here. But you guys have already done that. And then we're going to click on the preset pack, which is the media fighter website. And then we're going to also download that one. So I'm just going to click on download. Now that one is going to download as well. I'm going to open that up in the folder and extract it just like we did with the preset manager okay here it is so we're gonna right click extract here so now that we have this dot sf preset file what we need to do is we need to copy the location of where that file is go to our preset manager and then what we need to do is file open and we need to select the preset pack that we just extracted which is this one so now that we have that one selected now the only thing you need to do is click on here then we want to click on effects chains the only thing we have to do is click on copy to system so right now all the files should be in our vegas pro so right now we have still vegas pro open what we need to do is close it out and basically restart vegas pro a few moments later all right we have vegas pro 17 booting up right now so let's go ahead and see and how, how to also load these actual preset packs and and these presets so how you can actually apply them onto your video okay so right here we have Vegas Pro so right now I'm just gonna drag in a clip so I'm gonna also show you how to apply these color correction presets so I just basically dragged in a clip of the giveaway we're actually get running a giveaway while you're watching this video we're gonna give away one copy of Vegas Pro 17 a physical copy so make sure to check out the link in the description if you want to that giveaway that giveaway is valid until September 14th so if you're watching this after September 14th 2019 the giveaway is unfortunately closed but this is basically the clip that i recorded for the giveaway video so right now we're gonna hit not video effects or anything we're going to hit this effects button at the end of the clip which says event effects okay so now what we need to do is basically automatically open up the filter packages this is basically what we just installed we have turquoise glare with letterbox two purple glare with letterbox green glare with letterbox after effects color three childhood after effects color four 1979 hot august sunset uh, lava lamp Lava Lamp 2, Lava Lamp 3, all these kind of effects. So let's go ahead and, for example, play the turquoise with Letterbox. We're going to click on Add and we're going to click on OK. And as you can see right now, it is going to apply that to your clip. It is that simple, guys. So this is how to install external color grading presets. It can be anything. It can be LUT filters, anything like that. It's really, really cool. So this is how it's done, guys. Make sure to smash the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. In this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly the best render set for YouTube in 1080p and multiple other formats such as 720p, 1080p, 60fps, all of that. As you can see right now, we are in Vegas Pro 17. Oh, it feels so good to say that. But as you can see right now, this is basically a video of mine that I uploaded maybe like two weeks ago. So let's say that this is just a finished video. I'm just going to cut it just a little bit because we want to export everything into one file. All right. So let's say that this is our finished video and we want to export it in 1080p for YouTube. So what we're going to do, first of all, is we're going to click on this project video properties wheel above the preview screen. We're not going to render it straight away. We're going to make sure that our project settings are matching. So we're going to click on that icon. And then as you can see right here, it says template. Now you don't want to pay attention to that, but we're going to pay attention the width, the height, and all these settings right here. So start, we're going to start off with the width is going to be 1920 by 1080, which is very obvious. Uh, the field order is going to be non-progressive scan. Pixel aspect ratio is 1.0000 square. And the frame rate is also very important. Do you want to have your uh, FPS to be 30? You're going to pick 29.970. Do you want your frame rate to be 50? 50, 50 FPS, you can just pick 50 double pal. Or if you want to have 60 FPS, you can just go ahead and click on 59.940, which is double NTSC. So now that we have done that what we're going to do is we're going to see for the full resolution rendering quality is very important you want to put that from good to best the motion blur type is gaussian the deinterlaced method is blend field and the resample mode is going to be disable resample now these are basically the settings that you need anytime you want to render but i can imagine that you don't want to do all of this you know all over again so what we're going to do is we're going to give this a name for example youtube 1080p 
Then what we're going to do is we're going to click on start all new project with these settings. We're going to click on apply and click on OK. So now we're ready to export it. But make sure before you start editing your video, you want to right click on the video, hit properties and you want to disable the resample and click OK. That's going to make the video just look just a little bit smoother and it's going to also mask project video properties. So now that we're ready for export, we're going to select everything in our timeline that we want to render out. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hit file at the top left. We're going to click render as. Now we can actually pick a lot of a lot of formats. Which one do we need? We have MP4, we have MPEG2, we have Sony AVC slash MVC, we have XD Cam, we have multiple ones, but what I have been using for years and what works best for me is Sony AVC slash MBC and we're going to pick internet 1920 by 1080 30p but we need to also adjust these settings we're going to click on customize template and right now we're going to make sure that these settings will match the settings that we just adjusted in the obviously in the video project properties right here the template that's just basically the name you want to pick the frame size is 1920 by 1080 your frame rate is going to be 60 and then your pixel aspect ratio is just the same and the bit rate is 16 million or 16 zero 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 which is very very straightforward you want to also click on audio and make sure that there's audio included because otherwise you will not hear anything i would say the bit rate is going to be 320,000 because i'm not really sure what 512,000 is going to do so this was just sitting standard on 128 but we're going to crank that up to 320 now also the audio encoding mode is going to be stereo and then as you can see the system is not really clickable then we need to go to the project tab and the video rendering quality needs to be best stereoscopic 3d mode is just going to be the same and the color space is going to be default now that all the settings are optimized we can also give this a name for example youtube 1080p 60 for example so you guys know that it's 60 fps so now you can click on this diskette get icon which is going to save the template so now we're going to click on there we're going to click on okay and right now it will actually appear on your list right here in your presets now the only thing you need to do is choose the location you can click on browse where you want to save your rendered file and then you can just for example click on the desktop and then you can just for example give this a name for example rendered video and if you go ahead and click on render it is now going to show you guys uh, the video like go play back really really slow and this is basically how to render videos and the best render settings for YouTube in 1080p but let's say that you want to for example have your video in 720p go to this wheel icon and you can just go ahead and change the width to 1280 by 720 that's the resolution for 720p you can also choose your frame rate that remains the same and you can just click on this diskette or you can just call this a different name for example 720p like that click on this diskette icon that's gonna save it obviously that's how to do it guys this is how you render your videos in 720p 60 fps uh if you want to have a 30 go to frame rate and you just want to pick 29.970 and that works exactly the same for 1080p so guys that's it i really hope this video was helpful to you if it was make sure to smash the like button down below subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys obviously in my next vegas pro 17 tutorial